Welcome to the PAC Football Report for September 10th, 2016. I'm Joe Anderko. This week, we will take a quick look back at the opening weekend of football action in the President's Athletic Conference, while also previewing games taking place this Saturday. PAC teams went 6-5 and five in non-league action during the opening weekend, with all six wins coming by double digits. Victors included W&J, 58-20 at home over Wooster. Westminster, which blanked Hiram at home, 40-0. Bethany, a 23-13 winner over Ursinus. Case Western Reserve popping Chicago, 45-17. St. Vincent, which ran past Alma, 47-24. And Teal, which gave new head coach Dan Bloom his first career win with a 44-21 decision at Allegheny. On the losing end, Franklin posted a huge comeback to upend Thomas Moore, 43-39, while Grove City's comeback against Juniata fell short in a 31-26 loss. Carnegie Mellon lost to Washington, Missouri 41-34 in overtime, while a potential game-winning field goal hit the upright as Waynesburg fell 17-16 to Muskingum. Finally, Geneva suffered a 31-10 setback at Frostburg State. PAC Player of the Week honors went to St. Vincent quarterback Derek Stewart on offense with his five touchdown passes at Alma. Defense went to lineman Donovan Hayden of Bethany with 10 tackles, two sacks, and a 40-yard fumble recovery TD. Special teams went to Demetrius Bentley of Westminster for his game-opening 93-yard kick return touchdown. Rookie of the Week went to Grove City freshman receiver Nick Ponikvar with 14 catches for 179 yards and a TD. All four games on September 10 involving PAC teams facing each other are non-conference contests. The fourth annual PAC Kickoff Classic will take place at Cameron Stadium in Washington, PA, as 1-0 Washington and Jefferson hosts 0-1 Grove City at 2 p.m. W&J has dominated the series in recent years with four straight wins, as the last Wolverine victory over the Presidents was a 24-21 home win in 2011. W&J head coach Mike Siriani talks about his program's pride in hosting the PAC Kickoff Classic. No, we're, we're very excited about that. The PAC is a very strong conference, obviously, this year, but also has so much tradition. Um, dating back to you know, 50 years ago, we were, so we're very proud that we're hosting that event this week. Um, to, to do it against uh, a Grove City team who we respect a lot and, and they stand for the right things in college athletics. Fresh off a decisive road victory at Allegheny, 1-0 Teal hosts 1-0 St. Vincent under the lights at Alumni Stadium in Greenville for the Tomcats home opener at 7 p.m. The Bearcats lead the all-time series 11-7, including a 65-14 blowout win last year that stopped the Tomcat three-game win streak in the series. First-year Tomcat head coach Dan Bloom reflects on the thrill of earning a win in his first game as a collegiate head coach last week. You know, I got the opportunity to win my first football game. I think it kind of really set in when uh, Scott Benzel actually texted me that night and said, you know, congrats, it took me five to get my first one. And I was like, oh, I mean, you know, I did just win my first football game as head coach, and then I think that's when it kind of started to set in in the excitement grew. Geneva also hosts its home opener under the lights of Reeves Field at 7 p.m. in Beaver Falls, as the 0-1 Golden Tornadoes host 1-0 Bethany. The GTs lead the all-time series with the Bison 31-10-1, but Bethany recorded a 41-15 victory a year ago. Veteran Geneva head coach Gino DeMarco describes the challenges of implementing his team's new triple option offense. You know, we played an opponent that really understands the triple because their number one competitor runs it. You know, I, I, I really think that as the season goes on, we're going to get better at it. We'll under, start understanding the learning curve's got to move really quick for us. Um, because let's not kid ourselves, the other guys in the league, the other 10 guys, they know what they're doing. In other action between PAC teams, 1-0 Westminster hosts 0-1 Waynesburg at Harold Burry Stadium in New Wilmington at 1 p.m. The Yellow Jackets had won three straight games in the series before a 24-7 Titan victory in 2015. Finally, 0-1 Thomas Moore heads to Virginia to face 1-0 Bridgewater in a non-league game at 1 p.m., the first ever meeting between the programs. Bridgewater is coming off a 38-22 victory over Gettysburg in Week 1. Carnegie Mellon and Case Western Reserve have the weekend off. That's all for this edition of the PAC Football Report. For the latest news, statistics, and information on your favorite team, log on to the conference website at www.pacathletics.org. You can also follow us on social media via Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with links available at the website. I'm Joe Anderko. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the stadium.